Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Hash Time with Aton. Yes, I know what you guys are probably wondering. Why is this in front of you? And I know what you guys are thinking, right? What is this? And I have to tell you, it's very exciting because this is the first major collaboration we've done with another business and it's really cool because this is the first time we've done this so far and so I'd like to introduce the sponsor and collaboration for today's video S Factor Enterprise. In case you guys aren't aware they are a wonderful business online that helps sell all sorts of goods and services from coffee to cars to cool tech and cool home decorations. Honestly, it's amazing. Watch out Amazon, here this comes. So today, we are lucky and fortunate enough that they sent us their own laser keyboard. Yes, you heard me, not a razor, but a laser keyboard. Yes, you heard me. It is a keyboard that projects light, and uh, I don't even know how it works, to be quite honest with you, but I'm really excited to unbox it. What are your thoughts for today? I mean, how futuristic will it get? Soon it's just going to be an entire little tiny box that's going to project an entire monitor. I know, it's, it's crazy, right? The, the, this, this kind of material is going to be replacing a lot of the computers coming up. Yeah, laptops going to be gone. I mean, honestly, it's going to be As long as you have crazy. a wall to project it on, laptops are going to be gone in like 20 years. Yep, so uh, we reach, I reached out to them, talked with their uh, head of uh, influencer relations for a little bit, and they were fortunate enough to be able to send us one of their laser keyboards to be on my channel. So no more hesitation, we're gonna get right into it. So first off the bat, I'd like to note this very nice bubble mailer, very nice packaging with their giant I mean, logo. Who doesn't like bubble wrap? That is a very nicely colored bird. The color scheme for that is immaculate. All right, we're just gonna open nice, this right nice here. Cut. Ah, it's a very high quality mailer. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So in here we have. Oh wow. Okay. In here we have the, the laser projection keyboard. Very nice. Very good quality packaging. And, and some uh, other stuff. Oh wow. Okay. Wow. This is very neat. All right. So inside of here is actually a few. Um, it looks like to be pens. Pens. Wow. And very nice. Wow, branded pens with their own logo on it. These are pretty nice, actually, and they gave us quite a few of them, so thank you, guys. Looks very nice. Got some numbers information and on there. And some cards for their website. And we have some cards for their website. Looks very, very nice. A like lot of coupons. We will be uploading these as PDFs if you guys want to go and check out their website. A lot of great stuff going on here. All right, let's get into the main thing for today. Main course. We have our laser projection keyboard. So basically, if you're not aware what this is, uh, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a little black box, and it makes this lit kind of laser projection. And you can connect it to... You can connect light. Bluetooth to laptops, phones, really anything. You can connect it to TV. I mean, you could honestly just be typing away on your TV. All right, looking pretty good here. Pretty solid packaging. All right. Okay, let's see what is going on. All right, let's see what's going on in here. Okay, so actually, let's look at the box real quick. So this can connect with your smartphone, tablet, PC, desktop PC, or video game console. Well, you're right. I don't you even own a video game. I mean, game honestly, console. this is pretty cool. Imagine, you're just like, you know, Xbox, they have those little PS5. things. PS5. Honestly, Xbox X, PS5, the little things, you know how you have to type the or you move your control, it takes forever. Yeah. This is your solution. All right, let's go. Wow. Oh. That's cool. That is really shiny. Let's get a little zoom in, zoom action going on here. Wow, that is really shiny. My eyes. All right. Wow, it's really well in there. I think you need to use the holes to pull it out. Oh, got it. Almost. Yeah. Oh, this is embarrassing. Maybe you need it from this angle. First See, I told you it's not as easy. First, take it out of this box. Well, I guess they made a really good job of making sure their package doesn't get dented. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. We have the laser keyboard itself mounted in a Pop. nice phone. Well, that is smaller than I expected. Oh, it's, it's, I thought it was going to be like maybe a box this big. Honestly, this is extremely pocket sized, I have to yeah, say. Very that's like nice. Smaller than a phone. Looks like we have two receivers like, up here and then a little retina sensor down there. Elsewhere in the box, we have a little card of this. This mm -hmm. looks pretty nice, actually. Don't know what it is. Don't know what that says. Looks very Boy, nice. It's cool. Oh, I think that's a little sticker. And then over here, 
we have oh wow okay it comes with it comes with cord. its own charging cable i think that's a cord cord charging cable looks like a charging cable it's pretty nice wow everything's packed very decently in foam i have to say and then we have our handy dandy little instruction manual in a language i cannot read that is also smaller than an ant's ankle i will take mandarin classes to read this but in the meantime let's flip to the let's english. flip to the english okay so basically this appears to be a bluetooth device right we if we look into the actual box itself here wow okay just for comparison this is my palm it's it's really small actually genuinely small um that's my hand it's it, no this definitely would fit in your pocket very easily okay so we have an on button some stuff on the side and okay. let's move this aside all right so let's go with an on button. Is it already charged? Oh. Ah, oh, that was a beep. Oh, we're all right. That was an aggressive beep. Okay. Oh, wait, I assume that's a projection. Wait, flip it up. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, let me move this for you guys. Holy that wow. That is cool. Okay, wait. Jump button. <laughs> wow, that is very vibrant. Holy. Yeah. Okay, so apparently this little retina receiver up here is, is flashing a lot and it is it's a laser projection so if we right so here let's see the key binds wow okay goodness gracious okay let's look at some of the keys here we got enter delete we have a backspace pretty much your standard keyboard i have to say it is very nice in aswd format uh looking pretty clean looking pretty clean i have to say let me angle this for you guys to see a little better see like wow this is perfect size it seems like it even makes a sound to make sure it so you can tell if it worked. So let me Wow. Try. Okay, so this is actually... So the I, future in a box. Okay, so I actually had my doubts. I will say, I had yeah. my doubts. I thought it was going to be like... I thought it was going to be... Yeah, like exactly. Or, it, it was going to be laggy. That is amazing. It, it really is extremely is it, accurate. The, That's a mouse mouse. I won't no. make a beat. But it, wow. No, no, literally. I'm not even joking. Folks at home, this is incredible. Now what happens if I slap my finger? Oh. I don't think it'll do that. It, it's crazy. This is actually wow. pretty insane. Now, imagine 20 years ago, what did we have closest thing to this was the BlackBerry slide-out keyboard. Now look at this. Honestly, and it, this thing is incredible, too. It is very, very pocket-sized. And look, it's, you can even project it on the wall. <laughs> don't know. Does it still? Uh, you know, it does not work It's pretty out. crazy. It this is, is not Spider-Man. This is pocket-sized. All right. And then, so it looks like the projection is about probably, I would say, a few inches, probably like three or four inches away. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we have hooked it up to a Samsung phone, and we're going to do the first test run right here. We are open up in Samsung Notes. Now, this is actually I found very interesting, and uh, I'm not sure if you could see it on camera, but the laser projection keyboard will actually dim itself yep, see, it, it's, it's just completely turned off um it's funny it's it, so when you don't use it for 15 seconds it actually goes into battery consumption mode or battery saving mode pardon me uh just like a phone you know how a phone screen gets uh a little more uh dim when you don't touch it for a while and same thing with this all right so we are going to go in for the first time and uh, see if this thing actually works all right let's get it up if you give it a little shake, it goes right back into full battery capacity. Okay, mode. what letter right. do you want to type? L. Okay, so it is responsive. Wow, okay, yeah, that's actually crazy. So this is actually insanely responsive here. Every it's not single like it's letter. It's going to type the letter next to it. Exactly, no, this is... See, I can type zero, and then I can go all the way. Not six. Yeah, it, it, it's actually very, very interesting. Because, and you can do caps mode, too. Yeah, you can do lowercase and then uppercase very easily. I have to say, this is actually very, very impressive. Compared to the other laser keyboards I've seen, it's like if you were to press exactly. space and one register, you always have to press the number, but look at it, press here to do that. Exactly. You know, I was very hesitant, actually, about this. I wanted to review because I thought it was a cool gimmick, you know? But this is actually very, very cool and very, very real. You know, this is not at yeah. all a scam. It's very, very vibrant. So, yeah, all right. And I believe it has a mouse mode. Yes, yeah, so this button right here, it has a little arrow icon. Now, you can, on the camera, you can see that it dims and brightens the screen. Here's what it actually does, though, is that when you click this, this actually turns into a trackpad for, for keyboard. your keyboard and mic. Can't do it on a phone. Cannot do this on a phone, unfortunately, but it turns into a keyboard. So you can move your cursor by dragging your so finger you off. you also get a laser mouse. Exactly. So, you know, you can be typing away, 
Click then that move, and then move around. Tabs. Switch tabs, move back. And then you have your caps option, your tabs. It's actually You're pretty all insane. Signed. You have all your things. It's actually pretty insane. Um, and then just, just to want to do a little more review for you guys on the actual, let me turn this off real quick, on the actual, oh, that's a nice noise. Let's make sure it's wow, that when you go off. I lets you know. Okay, just a little more on the actual, uh, unit itself. Turn this back on so you guys can see. So basically, as you know, it is pretty small at this point. It is just about, I would say, the size of three fingers, and my fingers are pretty small, I have to say. Uh, so yeah. here's how this works, actually. Hey, so it has two separate receivers. I'm going to guess. So let's get this focused here. So, so we're. I'm gonna have to guess. This one is the laser. I'm gonna have to guess. No, no. So here's how I think this works. I think one of them is the laser, and the other one is for. Um, I think. I actually think that one of them is for the mouse function, and the other yeah. one is for the other one. For the and keyboard. These two are the receivers, which uh Yeah, so this is this is what I found the most interesting part. So this is actually a receiver, and what it does is uh when a projection is made, this will calculate the distance from your touch to it, and then it'll compare that to the keyboard layout. Just technology these days. Honestly, it's insane. And you know, I find it very interesting because they're separate. And I think that's very, very actually a good thing because say that you have, you know, something blocking this middle area, this is level with the table, right? So say you have your hands up here, it will still sense because once again, the sensor is down at the bottom and that is on the bottom of the table. Uh, so it has speakers, actually. I think those are speakers. Uh, for the beep For the stuff. beep sounds. I think, uh, I think this... The beep sounds were a nice option, so it... So, like, let's say you type and you don't notice a beep, that means, hey, uh, something's in the way. You know, this is very nice, yeah. You type a whole essay and then realize. Yeah, it's great. And then this is, again, once a very, very shiny gloss, reflects sure light extremely well. It. It's very nice. And, uh, yeah, just, and then just on the side, it has your on button, your charging port, and a very actually nice feature is it has a keyring hole. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it has one, two holes for you guys to plug in any keyboard, or my bad, any keyring you have. And then, on once the again, carry it on the go. Very, very awesome. Very, very cool. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the review of the laser keyboard. Now, I just wanted to say really quickly, one of the coolest features, I think, is about this keyboard. I'm going to try and get this angle for you guys. Okay. One of the coolest features, I think, personally, that I like is the way you can really control every single thing about this keyboard. So, because there are two sensors, you see the two blue lights? Uh, oops. You see two blue lights, number one and number two. Well, what this allows you guys to do is actually to control by, to control the interface by pressing more than one key at a time. So if you press the FN key and then the up or down arrow, you can control how bright it is. Now, I think this is very cool because it marks where your finger is, not when you're tapping, but when you're actually having it laid down on that key. So once again, if you hold down FN, you can control the brightness. You can go from minimal brightness all the way up to super bright. You never miss it. Never miss a key. Other thing you can do is, as you know, there is this uh, pretty um, petulant sound. You know, that's a pretty distinct noise. You know, you really... It's pretty loud, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, and I feel that uh, it's it's a little annoying. I mean, not really, but you know, if you're in a quiet classroom or if you're on a train typing uh, on your phone, no one else around you wants to hear that noise. So if you hold down FN, you hear that? You can use the right and left arrow keys to determine how loud each beep is. You can go from all the way up at the top. To all the way down at the bottom, which is actually silent, and I think that's a really, truly awesome feature that you can go completely silent or really loud, depending on what you want. It's all up to you. And then once again, just want to say this mouse mode. Uh, I forgot. I read the manual a little bit in between clips, and what I found is really cool that there's actually different key, like key signs you can do for this. So if you want to right click, you place down both your fingers at the same time. And again, this is mouse mode, regular mode and then down back to mouse mode. So if you double click with both fingers, it's kind of as a right click. Again, this is a regular click, and you can draw circles to move. And yeah, I just thought that was uh, really, really awesome. 
Anyways, guys, that wraps up the review, and once again, we'd like to give a extremely big thank you and shout out to S Factor Enterprise for allowing us to do cool stuff like this. Really big thank you to them. I contacted them, said, hey, it'd be really cool if you guys could send us one of your awesome products to review on the channel, and they hooked us up with the best one they had. I have to say, really awesome. Once again, they sell pretty much everything. I mean, anything you need for really anything they have on their website. We're going to leave the links down to the website and other things down in the description in case you want to go pick up one of these yourself. And honestly, I would. They'd make a great stocking stuffer. You know, they're really small. You can carry them to work. Really any purpose you have. And uh, yeah, so I just like to say thank you. You know, it's really exciting. Personally, it's a big achievement for me because this is really the first really big collaboration we've done on the channel and I this is just a really proud moment for me and I'd like to thank you guys for helping us get there yeah I mean not only is the sponsorship cool I mean it's just such a cool product honestly it is and like, I mean who wouldn't want a keyboard that goes on your table honestly it's really like, cool projected. and I would like to In give the, the future future I'd like to give the biggest thank you to S Factor Enterprise again once again all the links down in the description and yeah, so we'd like to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Hash Time with Dayton. Duff, thank you for doing this amazing unboxing with me. It's thank you for inviting it's me. It's great having you here. And uh, one last more thing before we go. We have an Instagram now. We're going to leave the link down to our Instagram in the description where we'll be posting more pictures of this exact product and some other YouTube channel related items. So yeah, just go ahead and check it out. And uh, yeah, we'd like to thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.